So I just got a new sketchbook. Look at this little f***er. Soon to be filled with all manner of complete nonsense. Oh, I'm gonna treat you so good. I do have one small problem with it though. Look at this cover. It's a bit, well, uninspiring. It needs oodles and oodles and oodles of doodles. Maybe on a sticker. Yeah, that'll sort it out. So let's do that. I'm gonna grab my trusty iPad Pro and with no plan whatsoever, begin sketching a colossal brain dump all over it. So come join me. Oh, actually, where am I going? We need to stay right here. Okay, let's jump into Adobe Illustrator and start sexing this puppy up. I'm gonna create a new file, 2000 by 3000 pixels, drag in the sketch, stretch it out to fill the canvas, and double click on the layer to bring up this little box. Click beside template to lock the sketch in place and reduce its opacity to 50%. This is gonna help me draw all over it. Now I'm selecting the paintbrush tool. I'm gonna to push the fidelity up to 75%. Then with the new layer above the sketch, I'm gonna start inking. So yeah, let's enjoy that together. Satisfying, but we ain't done yet boys and girls. Let's do the colors -z 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 -z. Select everything then go to object expand appearance then object expand click ok and that turns all of our strokes into shapes Which is what we want click on Pathfinder then unite this turns the whole thing into one solid shape This is also something we want add a new layer betwixt the sketch and inking layers and now choose any random color you fancy Select the rectangle tool and drag it out across the entire canvas. Hit Command A to select absolutely everything, then pop back over to Pathfinder and hit Divide. This is now split everything up into loads of individual parts. Hit A for your direct selection tool, click outside of your line work and hit Delete to remove everything outside of the lines. 
All of these individual color shapes have been pushed back up into the top layer group, so we need to separate them back to the group below before we start coloring them. So open up your group, select all the colored shapes and drag them back down to the second layer group. On the top layer, we're going to click the little toggle to the right to select everything in that layer group, then merge it all back into one shape with the Pathfinder. You can then lock that in place. This means we can start selecting each little shape individually, and with our swatches panel open, we can begin changing the colors. After that, I'll add some highlights and shadows with the blob brush tool, and turn this little doodle piece into a snazzy sticker for my sketch pad. And this is where the fun really begins. Let's do it! Maybe we can